puzzle in Assassin's Creed 2 because we wanted them, or we wanted player, to think a bit. Not only is it an action game, that's fun. You know, we have the action. Sometimes it take a like, oh, I need to, you know, have, I need to think to 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 get uh, to the next point of the game for the next step. So we put some puzzle a lot more in the climbing of go to the viewpoint. There's some towers are like, oh, really? Okay, I don't know how to get there like that. And we put some puzzle, some 2D puzzle hidden also here and there. We did the secret location where suddenly the puzzle is really like a Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia-like puzzle, and and it's just to to change to change the pace. This is something like I was talking earlier about the structure, but not only do we have a problem with the structure in the first game, but we actually never change the pace. So when you're like fighting a lot, running a lot, and suddenly you're in a puzzle element, it's like oh, I'm not doing the same thing. So in your brain, <laughs> really something that some something else happened, and then you're happy to go back afterwards in the fighting. Or, or, or the climbing. So you you change pace here and there, and then you feel like you do there's something different. You just have to go there and realize that you just have to make the city as they were, as they are, to make them different just like Jerusalem and, and Acre or Damascus were in the first game even though they weren't that different in the gameplay. So if you go in, in, in Florence here you see it's a more flat at first the building is a bit higher and all the rooftops are a bit like longer so it creates uh, on the rooftop a different vibration I would say. Then you go to Venice then suddenly one third of the streets are canals so it's all about water. And then we have also a, a city in Tuscany called San Gimignano where they have a lot of towers. In fact, back at the time there was 25 towers like that and it creates the Man Manhattan feeling. So where we played with this verticality of gameplay instead of being more underground. So each city will really have a different uh, feel and uh, uh, not only in visual but also in the gameplay this time around. We created the secret locations that while we were de developing it we call LGS for linear gameplay sequences to change the pace, to sometimes go inside buildings, to teach the player to be good at a specific free running or climbing element, to show the players the depth of the main character because if you're in a linear sequence, linear map, then we can bottleneck some sections saying here do this particular move to move on and if you do well you will learn the move and then you can reuse that move in the city so it's a great teaching tool a great way to change the pace again oh, there's so many different things we can do with the crowd in the future uh, it's true that we can have a roughly 120 you know characters at the same time what we did from the first one the first one was more about having those 120 NPCs being obstacles in your escape or approach this time we wanted it to be more like a uh, a tool you can actually use so I asked the team to divide the crowd not only in invi individuals but in groups so now you can see the groups of enemies you can see a group of people walking a group of people talking and you could analyze the crowd a little bit more easier easily and and each time you see a group like that well except if there are enemies you can blend in so then it becomes this you know light and shadow gameplay but inside a crowd even though there's still obstacles if you try to sprint in the middle of, of a crowd you mean you'll 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 end up in the on the ground so i mean and where we could go with it i mean it's only the beginning i feel again it's like all about learning those little like we're not doing a shooter and it's i have nothing against shooter but we're not doing it so we have to learn each time by you know doing small steps because we still want people to play our game at the end of the year so we need sometimes okay this is where we are this this time we did it with the first one we took another 20 months and now we come back with a second one it's better and we're learning how to do a crowd and how to play with crowd it's something we don't do in other games or you don't do that much we created also some people you can buy in a crowd and then suddenly you're not alone anymore you can play with them you can ask like missionaries you can play with thieves or courtesans and you'll be walking around in this crowd being Ezio with people around and see how it reacts and you can use 
those people that you that you bought to distract some guards and do some part of the action for you.